the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, yes, the king. The alpine dawn heralds a crisp new day. The air is fresh with an invigorating edge and the birds and animals feel from the rays of the sun that the day will be hot and still. For the wild mountain horses, it's a time to bathe and frolic and roll and enjoy their freedom. Thaura and his brother Storm no exceptions. But even they have to be wary of the ever-present danger of man. The man is stirring early. Oh, it might be a good day to head for the ram's head. What do you think, Thara? 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 This is pretty stupid, Thara. Ah, oh, you worry too much, Storm. I know what I'm doing. You know this man won't rest until he's captured you. What the... Out of my way. Out of my way. A traffic jam. This time of the morning. Clear the path, I say. Just a minute, Wombat. Young animals these days have no respect for other people's business. It's way past me bedtime. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> oh! Let that be a lesson, do ya? Keep out of the way or you'll get hurt. Watch out ahead. Wombat coming through. <laughs> oh, this isn't funny, Sarah. Yes, it is. Now, what were you saying? What I was trying to say is... Oh, keep out of trouble. <laughs> Perhaps you should take some of your own advice. <laughs> Come on, Storm. It was just a nip. What'll he be like if you ever get into a fight with a stallion? Oh, better than you if you get into a fight with a man and his black horse. <laughs> <laughs> this is our country, Storm, and I know it backwards. Pardon me, son of Yaraman. I have heard tales of this black horse from my cousins in the lowlands. He is the fastest and strongest stock horse in the district and knows the high country as well as his owner. You'd do well to keep your wits about you. Thank you for the advice, Mrs Dingo. I don't mean to sound brash, but I do have the eyes and ears of the bush on my side. And you will need them, for there is talk among the cattle of another Brumby hunt. Then we'll be on our guard and on our way. Thank you. They're pretty nervous, aren't they, Echo? Oh, boy. Relax. Relax. You hungry? Oh, relax. That's it. Good boy. Eat up. It's all right, boy. I'm not going to hurt you. See? See? He knows. Plenty of good food. No more foraging. No need to be scared. It's nice, isn't it? That's it, boy. Just relax. Tomorrow I'll start the search for your silver maned friend. The handsome devil won't get away from me this time. Don't 
trouble can come with man. He's looking for tracks. Young horses who get too cocky find their future rather rocky. Mopoke, Mopoke. Quite finished, Mopoke. Thank you. Sorry, Echo. The going was rougher than I thought. Oh, was that your idea of keeping out of danger, Thara? <laughs> Relax, Brother Storm. If I don't test my skills against him and his black horse when I can control it, Storm, how will I ever know if I can defeat him when there's real danger? Anyway, if I keep beating the man, maybe he and his friends won't try to hunt us. Come on, Thara. <sighs> Men have been hunting us since they first came to the high country. Why you take such risks, I don't... Because know. Thara likes to show off Storm, so the fillies will fall in love with him and the other cults will think he's brave. What he does is easy. Anyone can do it. He just makes it look hard. If you so... think that, Arrow, then you're a bigger fool than you you're appear. You're just scared that I would do better than you. Let's see who's best. Let's challenge the man well, now. Where's the sport in that? His horse is lame. Even Wombat could beat him in a chase now. You're a coward, Thaura. And a show-off. I've got better things to do than listen to this rubbish. Me too. Coward, coward, Thaura is a coward. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm sure they're friends of Arrow's. Mm, you remember the one the Saltman captured last week? In that hunt when Clever Arrow... When Clever and Handsome Arrow skillfully managed to escape the men's trap and... Stop! Now get back to Rocky and Woomera. Fancy them still being in the high country and at Dead Horse Hut. A dead horse hut? Yes, and they must be enjoying it. They already seem quite tame. I suppose they must be pack horses. Mm, there he goes, their freedom. <gasps> Such a pity. My sentiments exactly. Enough, I... you two. Now give me a moment to think. Maybe we should tell Thara about this. That's it. Good boy. Trot out. That's it. Nice and smooth. Good boy. Poor Rocky and Woomera. I'll have to rescue them. You may be too late, Arrow. <laughs> Your friends are becoming too used to the ways of man. The men don't worry me. If Thara can outfox the men, so can I. Don't be so sure. It's easy. I'll take them by surprise. <laughs> oh. Pups. 
Rocky, Woomera! Rocky, Woomera, what are you doing? I came to rescue you. Break free! Break... Yeah! Those rocks! Storm! Storm! Quick! We've got to get out of here! The men! Yeah. What have you done now, Arrow? No time to explain! Hurry! Let's just get out the other end of this valley! There isn't one! And you've left us no time to trick our way out! Run for it! Gather round, everyone, gather round. Have we got some news for you? Yes, have we got some news? <laughs> Get out of here, you scatterbrain. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way, boss. Almighty and magnificent Bralga. Get that rubbish out of the way. I've got the latest news. <laughs> The men captured Arrow and Storm. <laughs> Serves those damn young idiots right. That Arrow is a fool. Pity that insolent Thaura wasn't captured too. Alas, sire, he wasn't with them. Uh... Hey! Hey, what about me? Get me out of here! Get me out of here! According to the Karawal, Thara wasn't with them. Gang, gangs. Quiet. Thank you. This is dreadful news, Boon Boon. Arrow is ruled by many things, but never his brain. You're right. We better let Thara know. Hopefully he'll know what to do. Just pretend they aren't here. Well, I'm not talking to them. Some friends they turned out to be. It's not their fault. The man... <laughs> Arrow? <gasps> There's the Brolga's spy. He mustn't see you with us, Boon Boon. Moop! 
poke, mo poke, master stroke. Thar is going to break their yo. Very clever, mo poke, but how? Mo poke, mo poke, don't ask me. You're the horse. You get them free. <laughs> Great, thanks a lot. That was a terrific help, mo poke. Well, we can't just leave them there. If they were kangaroos, they could just hop out. Well, that's not a lot of help either, Benny. I thought you were the wisest creature in the high country. Usually. Thara? It's the hobbles that are the problem. If we could just... Ow! Not again. No consideration. Just no consideration. Off to dinner. Another traffic jam. Out of my way. Out of my way. Or I'll bite this one like I bit the other one. Now look here, Wombat. You're not the only animal in the bush. These paths are forever... You're right. Good Wombat. We shall clear your path. But first, let's talk. I think you might be our answer. Mm. What was the question? You see, wise and worthy Wombat, we need your help. No. Out of the question. Absolutely not. But you don't know what we want yet. Can't be done. Dinner to be got, mouths to be fed. But Wombat... So you see, you're the only one who can help. All right. All right. Just stop the charm and the nagging. I can't stand charm and nagging. I'll have to check it out first, though. Not committing myself till I see what the job's like. Can't be done. Take too long. What if there were others? Possible. Very possible. But not possible. Why ever not? Oh, too much bother. Oh, please, Wombat. I might have to start charming and nagging you again. Stop! Stop! Hold your horses, anything but that. <laughs> hold your horses. <laughs> it's not bad, eh? Very good. Hey, hold your horses there. Dear, wonderful, amazing Wombat. OK, please. OK. I'm going. I'm going. Wrong way, Wombat. And be careful. <laughs> Keep quiet. Keep still, all of you horses. To work, wombats. Is anything happening? It just looks normal down there. Is it boy? Oh, that was close. They've started again. I think I can make out Wombat near Storm's legs. I don't think they've started on Arrow yet. Maybe I should have got Wombat to leave the hobbles on Arrow, teach him a lesson for being so stupid. Arrow may do some foolish things, Thara, but you must admit, he did care enough about his friends to try and rescue them. I know, Boon Boon. It, it's just... Well, he's just so frustrating at times. Keep still, Arrow. He'll wake the black horse and he'll wake the man. Then we'll be no better off. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Wombat. Wombat? Wombat? Well done, Wombat. How can we ever thank you? Terrific job, Wombat. We knew you could do it. 
dreadful nuisance. No time for idle gossip. I've got to get something to eat. Mm, out of the way. Out of the way. Your friends are not free yet, Thara. I think I have a plan. I'm not going to get to see your plan in action, Thara. I've got to get back to the herd before my father sees that I'm missing. Well, you better be quick, Boon Boon. And thanks. Storm and Arrow would be gone for sure if it hadn't been for you. I really must go. Bye, Thara. Bye, Benny. Storm! Arrow! Quick jump! That's my horse! That's the Silver Colt! Don't let him get away! Follow me! Rocky! Wubbera! Thara, Storm, washing off the scent of man? <laughs> I never want to get that close to humans again in my life. Then heed the law of the bush. Keep out of the way of man. All right, Benny, you've made your point. What's wrong with Arrow? He's not talking to us. He's weird, that cult. You'd think after Thara saved Not weird, him... Storm, just embarrassed and humiliated. He was trying to prove he was better than Thara and then had to be rescued by him. It doesn't make him too proud of himself. I don't think we've heard the last of it. Nor do I, Thara. But we grow by understanding others. And in so doing... Nature has a way with her. Things that might at first glance seem twisted or gnarled have their own beauty and their own uses. But man, who professes to love beauty, loves convenience more. The time had come when man wanted a more convenient way of getting to the high country. And if that meant spoiling some of its beauty, then so be it. But it was a while before the mountain creatures realized what was happening.
Where? Where? No, nothing. Well, nothing. Where? Where? That's what I'd like to know. Where? <laughs> Be quiet, you empty-headed egghead. Not a cloud. It can't be rain. It doesn't smell like rain, but it sounds kind of like thunder. Very strange. <clears throat> Ow! And that'd be right. That'd be right. Deliberately standing there silent, just where you know I want to go. We were talking, Wombat. What's that? Walking? You weren't walking. You were standing still. Now, where's my son? Your son? I'm sure I don't know. Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah, yeah, that'd be right. Any trouble, any problem in the high country, straight to Wombat. Get him to help. Upset his day. Disturb his routine. But as soon as Wombat needs help, no one can be bothered. Just a minute, Wombat. That's not true. Anyway, how are we supposed to know you've got problems? Yeah, well, you're supposed to know. How were you supposed to... I just said me son's moving! You deaf! I've got to find him. I'm, 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 I'm very worried. Of course we'll help. Now, where did you last see him? Oh, typical. Typical. Always questions. No action. I might as well just keep looking by myself for all the, all the help I get. You can't win with Wombat. He's all right. Yeah, old Wombat's all right. Nothing wrong with war. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Well, he does like having something to complain about. <laughs> yes, and Wombat's got a tough hide, so he'll be okay. Let's see if we can find baby Wombat. <laughs> oh, typical, typical. <gasps> Mopoke. Mopoke. Oh, hi, Mopoke. Good morning, Mopoke. Still up? It is time for the world to rise and shine. Anything else would be a waste of time. You haven't seen Baby Wombat anywhere, have you? His father's out searching for him. If it's a clue you're after, I may be some help. Just keep your ears open for the sound of a yelp. Sound of a yelp? That's not much of a clue, Mopoke. <laughs> huh? While not all creatures are as smart as a grey kangaroo, Mopokes are known to be pretty smart too. <laughs> <laughs> He's Thara, I'm Benny. Time for you to go home, baby wombat. Your father's looking for you. He's very worried. Well, whatever you say, Thara. I, I, I was just having a game with my friends here That's and... That's all right. Games with friends are important, but not worrying your father is more important right now. Off you go. Yes, yes, off I go. Oh, whoops! <laughs> typical, typical. Yes? Oh, oh, nothing. Oh, typical of me to uh, run into something. That something was me. Your home is back that way. <laughs> yes, that's where I want to go. Thank you, Thara. Oh, bye, Dingoes. <laughs> Thanks for the game. Bye, Wombat. Come and play again soon. Hello, Benny, Thara. What are you... Looking after wayward children, I think. Very wise. Ever since the men started building that track... What track? It is said to be near the Prospector's Creek. Six horses wide, <laughs> so to speak. I don't believe it. Why would they do that? It's true enough. Haven't you heard the noise? 
A big metal monster they have, grunting and rumbling and growling. So that's what the noise was. It's a great danger to all the high country creatures, especially the little ones. That's why I'm trying to keep a close eye on my two. <laughs> oh, so that'd be right. Always something in the way. Well, that'd be right. Oh, kookaburras, kookaburras, tend to laugh till they drop. But if you ask me, they have the brains of a mop. Mopoke, Mopoke, you're so fond of yourself, but to me you're just a stuffed bookend on a shelf. <laughs> oh, I'm a poet and at least I know it. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this, Thara. No good's ever come of man and his monsters in the high country. Well, that's why we're on our way to see it for ourselves, isn't it? Seeing is one thing. Doing something about it is quite another. Listen. The thunder's stopped. Not another one. <clears throat> rubbish, rubbish and more rubbish. That's all I ever find in this creek. I'm sick to death of picking up after that stupid road gang. It's not a brain among them. He seems very angry. Who can blame him? The last thing we need is the stream choked with a load of man's leftover junk. <coughs> You're a long way from home with Bob. <coughs> no, I'm not. I haven't got a home anymore. What? Got to find a new one. It's the monster. What? I think we'd better find this monster double quick. <laughs> this is just awful, Benny. How could they do this? It's going to get worse, Thara. Our mountain kingdom is shrinking. This big path will bring more and more men. <laughs> Shed a tear. If they must have a road, why put it here? Why come anywhere near the high country? What do they want? At least the mountains and the ram's head and the sentinel are safe. It's easy here on the river flats, but the rugged mountains will beat their monsters. We'll always have somewhere to live. Oh, don't be too sure, don't be too certain. This road could be our final curtain. <sighs> Just look at this lot. Mankind's legacy to the high country. <laughs> Oh no! There it goes! More noise and smoke! It's enough to make any bird choke! <laughs> abandoned in that tree. Their fate has been left all up to me. Ah, that's a relief. Scrambled eggs were not to be, but it's a shame about that lovely old tree. Mopo, Mopo, thank you for saving my eggs. I no longer think you're just the dregs. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad to help you. And I'm inclined to think you're not so bad, too. <laughs> oh, sire! Sire! Ah. What's the panic, Karawang? Oh, mighty Brolga! It breathes fire and smoke and rumbles and roars. What are you talking about, Karawong? Calm down. It's yellow, makes grinding noises, devours trees and belches toxic fumes. All right, Karawong. What's the prize? Prize, oh worshipful wonder horse? For guessing the answer to the riddle. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't think you understand, mighty Brolga. The men creatures have invaded with a monster that is consuming the high country at a rate of one large lake per second. What? That's what I've been trying to tell you, sire. The smoke and the noise, all from this hideous beast. Get going, Karawang. Lead the way. Yes, sir. We'll show them, almighty master. They can't invade the king of the Brumbies' country and get away with it. <laughs> Thunder! Rain! Rotain upset! Disaster! <laughs> Disaster! Disaster! <laughs> there it is, sire. What did I tell you? So... They think they can turn the high country into a barren waste, do they? Wombat? <coughs> What's the rush? A wet head. Wet head. Typical. Can't even enjoy a quiet rest at home without being swamped. Swamped? What happened? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Nobody cares what happens to poor old Wombat. But at least we got out. All together again. Safe and sound. Uh, Wombat? Not quite together. Hey, what do you mean? Your son. He's not here. Hey, well, he's always there. At, at, at the end of the line. What? Where is he? Where? Where? Mopook. Mopook. Hey, that missing son of yours is quite a scamp. When last seen, he was hanging round the monster's camp. Is he old enough to think about hiding from it? Old enough? He's old enough to eat. That's all he thinks about. It's to be hoped that he's come to no harm. We'll come back with you. Something's different. It's the quiet. I can't hear the stream. It's usually very noisy around here. I told you I got a wet head. Something's happened to the stream. Hmm. Very strange. Animals can't even get a drink as well. Mm. 
Just returning what rightfully belongs to you. Huh? Hey! Get rid of them properly next time, or take them with you. Hey! Cut it out, old man. You made your point. I'll cut it out when you give me back my water supply. Damned idiots. I bet you're responsible for our water supply drying up. I can't think what you've done to the homes of the animals and birds. I think the old prospector must be giving them a piece of his mind. <laughs> Good job, too. I just wish I could start up that monster of theirs and push them right back out of the high country. Even that, unfortunately, wouldn't repair the damage that's already been done. That's right. Some of those trees they've knocked over have been there for hundreds of years. <laughs> that's the way, mighty monster masher. You cool off after teaching those intruders a much-needed lesson. I'm sure I saw a slight dent in the front of that thing. Oh, such bravery. What a charge. I haven't seen anything like that since Thaura jumped the ravine with a man in tow. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, no offence intended, sire. Of course. I didn't notice that puny weakling charging the monster. Only the great Brolga would have decided to charge head-on into an unstoppable metallic clanking contraption that no one could hope to halt. <laughs> Just as I thought. Did it occur to you that you might need water too? And what about the animals? Blockheads. Some engineer you are. OK, OK, we'll get the dozer down there and clear it. Take her away, Frank! Now, the next thing is, where's that son of yours, Wombat? Oh, my son! Oh, something's happening. I can sense danger. Above the din. Benny, do something quick. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hurry, somebody do something. Hey, look at this. Bad room. Huh? What's going on, old fella? What's up? Oh, no. A baby wombat. Stop! Stop! Thing. Yeah, saved in the nick of time. But how many weren't saved and how many animals have lost their homes? Yeah, I guess we hadn't given it much thought. Build your road if you must, but remember, the bush is their home and you are the visitors. Just look at this. Typical 
good a wet home is gonna do for me rheumatism. It is a shame, Wombat. But at least baby Wombat is safe. And that is the main thing. Yes, you're right. And, um, I'd uh, like to thank you and Benny for your help. It was a pleasure, Wombat. Anytime. There are many ways man can be a danger to the creatures of the high country. It wouldn't be long before they brought the fear and destruction of a bushfire. <laughs>